On the CBS Health Watch, a breakthrough in stem cell research. John Hopkins scientists have been able to restore movement in paralyzed rats. They hope that research will eventually let doctors repair human spinal cord and nerve damage. President Bush's first veto. As we mentioned, the president has rejected a bill that would have expanded the money the government can spend on research that uses embryonic stem cells. Here's our senior national correspondent, Jake Taft. This morning, actor and Parkinson's patient Michael J. Fox made an emotional appeal to the president not to veto funding for embryonic stem cell research. We have to hope that common sense will prevail, and, and at this point, it's not too late for the president to do the right thing. In our country, we are encountering more and more discussion about using embryonic stem cells to treat patients and to derive cures. This is a debate that is of great importance because it is a debate that raises the prospect of doing a kind of medicine that requires that one human being be destroyed for another. Let's, let's hold up. The Pew, the Pew surveys, which are very good, have shown that since, since 2002 to 2006, the more people understand what is at stake, the more they approve of stem cell research. The numbers are clear. The, the support for stem cell research has gone up 13% in the last four years. It's now a majority as, 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 because it goes to the point that James is making. This is about preserving life. It's about yeah. destroying life if you believe that embryos as a, are human beings. We were all embryos get, at one point. Let's get, no, we're back, not. To, let's get back to politics. Speaking as a would former you, embryo. Laura, Laura, would you, <laughs> Laura, would you agree that more than 50% of the public would support stem cell research? I think more than 50% of the public would probably approve of public executions of child molesters, but it doesn't mean that we actually do but, that, Larry. So the I question mean, is... First veto will be a veto that will dash the hopes of tens of millions of Americans uh, who suffer from diabetes and Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and paralysis. This is not just some wedge issue. This is the soul of America. And this is a colossal mistake on the part of the president. This afternoon, announcing his veto, the president conveyed his belief that destroying an embryo is murder. It crosses a moral boundary that our decent society needs to respect, so I vetoed it.